Okay, good. Good morning, everyone. As I stated in the invitation to this presentation, uh, we are going to be attending the NPE 2018 Plastic Show in Orlando on May 17th through the 12th. And we'll be introducing some new products, especially the E Plus 400 control package for extrusion, along with a couple other things, which I'll show you in the presentation. Okay, first off the show, it's NPE. Uh, if you need more information, uh, you can get it at www.npe.org. It uh, runs uh, Monday through Friday, May 7th through the 11th at the Orange County Convention Center. It's down in Orlando. Uh, projected attendance based on uh, preliminary registrations and so on. We're looking at about 70 to 80,000 people going through this show in five days. Uh, hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Thursday, 9 to 3. So it's a full-time, a big show. Uh, a lot of people and a lot of people are going to be uh, exhibiting. Well, in the past, we focused on the entire plastic industry. We had controls, the MAKO controls, where we had for injection, blow, and extrusion and that. But this year, we're going to primarily focus on the extrusion industry. The new uh, E Plus 400 is basically a control for extrusion. This is a uh, little layout of our booth. You'll notice the main aisles that I discussed. There's the main aisle on the left and the main aisle uh, in front uh, open. We have a booth behind us and a booth uh, to our right. There'll be a reception area. The demo area in the top left corner is where we will be showing our E Plus 400 and the uh, Mini 8 Penguin, uh, both for extrusion. Again, live touch screen demos. Uh, these are the pedestals. You've seen them if you've attended any of our other shows. They have been modified slightly so that we put in uh, controls that pertain to our plastic, the plastics industry. And this is just a little uh, a drawing of the booth without the pedestals in it. Uh, to give you an idea, a lot of graphics. Uh, Paul did a really nice job on the graphics putting this together. So when, you've, when you walk down those aisles, you visually see and you know what we're doing, controlling the process of extrusion and a nice uh, pictures giving you a little idea of, of people uh, working in an extrusion plant uh, from a manager to the actual worker themselves. Uh, again, uh, everything will be live, including the controls and the pedestals to be, um, to be uh, operated and uh, demonstrated. Okay, product solutions and our service sales. That's the main function of this. Uh, we are going to highlight and demonstrate our entire family of discrete controls plus two new control solution, solution packages uh, for um, uh, extrusion. And let's take a look first at what's new, what we've developed. Uh, the first thing we took is uh, the Mini 8. Uh, we have the Mini 8 controller package for extrusion, uh, upgraded new screens, uh, a 13-inch, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a 15-inch HMI is standard on this. We utilize the Mini 8 itself. It features 96 PID control loops, uh, some math and logic functions, process alarms, heater failure detection, OEM security. Uh, and this is what we'll call our, our basic full control package. The operator station, uh, a nice clean set of uh, extrusion screens, very, very user friendly, uh, configured in both 10 and 15 inch uh, operator stations. Um, and it has Ethernet ports, USB ports, report monit uh, excuse me, remote monitoring control. Uh, a lot of features that are, are required for basic uh, extrusion operation. And uh, we do have brand new uh, uh, sheets, uh, data sheets available, both electronically and they will be at the show in our literature racks to give you more information. The second thing we're debuting, and we use this as, as really kind of a new thing because uh, the E Plus 400, basically we've been using it, most applications has been heat treat and so on. Uh, this time uh, we've developed something for extrusion. And um, it's a combination package that uh, I think will be very well uh, received. Um, give you a little idea here, we're using the E Plus 400 controller. It has up to 100 auto-tuning PID control loops. Some, uh, we have standard configurations. We can also offer some custom configurations, maybe in a screen development or that, but the main thing is we have standard screens. One thing that we've done uh, in these two control packages 
is the screens for the Mini 8 system are almost identical, if not identical, to the ones in the E Plus uh, 400. Now we're using a different HMI, a full touch screen, where the Penguin and the other one was um, had the buttons on the side, but uh, we've kept the screens primarily the same. Uh, for the reason of they're a good set of screens, very user friendly, but also if someone was to take a system on a Mini 8 and maybe want to go to a 400 or something, they'd be very um, familiar. Or if the Mini 8 system uh, was on simple extrusion processes and they wanted to go to a more uh, elaborate extrusion, and it required the 400, uh, they would have the same screen packages. And we all know when you make screen packages alike, it helps the operators and the setup people, and of course, it's a success to a lot of controls. The 400 has a lot of features uh, in it. Uh, it also includes new SCRs for heater control in the custom, in a standard package, process alarms, heater failure, uh, project and user securities, pressure monitoring, Security levels, uh, uh, even an optional pressure control. Pressure monitoring is standard, and we have an optional pressure control. Uh, HMI, the uh, HMI is a standard 13-inch uh, HMI. The overview screen, you have multiple trend screens, recipe screens, alarm screens, uh, temperature screens with built-in alarms, and it has two Ethernet ports and two USB ports. So it's a real nice compact package. Uh, it can grow as you have more, need more, again, like any 400. You have a four slot, eight slot, and it continue to grow with the needs of the customer. We also have a new uh, uh, data sheets on the uh, 400 uh, for the combination package. Uh, it, when I say it's hot off the press, it hasn't even been printed yet. It's, it's hot off the development and should be going into print uh, any day now. Uh, and um, what I wanted to let you know is that these are also available electronic on our website. Okay, what else is going on? Well, we got the products for the plastics processing, as we'll call it, or into the extrusion area. New for NPE 2018. It's been out for a while, but it is being debuted to the plastics industry and NPE, and that would be the EPC 3000 programmable controllers. We will also be displaying the basic control systems, the 3200 series. We'll have indicators and alarm unit solutions, so the 3216Is and the P116 Piccolos will also be uh, on the uh, turnstile type uh, displays. We'll be displaying the uh, SCR power controls. Now they'll all they'll be on the display as well as on both of our um, uh, demo displays for the controls. We're going to have the operator station. We'll have the rack on one side for the 400, the Mini 8 underneath the Penguin. We're also going to show Zelios on the Peng or on the uh, E1, or excuse me, the Mini 8 side, and we'll be showing the E packs on the uh, 400 side. So we're showing what a complete system would look like. Uh, for the customer itself right there in front of his eyes, what would go in the cabinet. We'll also have uh, the advanced control and recording solutions, the Nanodac 3508, 3504, and uh, that rounds out our product displays. So what are we doing for promotion? Well, uh, we've updated our website. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, and there's actually a section right now just on NPE, Paul's done an excellent job with that. There's a lot of information there. You can click on it. Uh, what you see here, if you click on the blue bar, it takes you to an area where you can get free show passes. Uh, uh, customer can click on it, no reason to pay to get a ticket to go into the show. He can get free passes by going to our website. It also highlights the things that we're going to be demonstrating and, and uh, uh, selling. It uh, highlights many things, uh, some stories, as well as who's going to be at the uh, booth. So it's a, it's a great way for people to get information. All right, well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.